Ramsey Lewis, Sounds of Christmas. 7.38 and 35 degrees outside. There should be very little traffic. Also, the trains are probably running slow. and So if you haven't uh, gotten away, you need to get away. And now we have some, some young women in the studio. And they are part of a group called Mocha Moms of Brooklyn. Now, as soon as I heard the term Mocha Moms... I immediately wanted to find out what that was about. It just had this beautiful, created this beautiful picture in my mind. We have uh, three folks here. Um, we have one, um, Dion Grayman. How are you, Dion? I'm well. How are you? Okay. I first met Dion. She was <laughs> laying in a manger in twaddling clothes. <laughs> how old were you? You were about... Three years old, then, huh? Not too much older than I am now. <laughs> <laughs> That's <a good> <laughs> uh, I had it in my mouth and I just couldn't get it out. Yoidet. 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 Arima. Correct. What? 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 How did? Where? <laughs> I was born in Panama. Oh, you are? Yes. You're a dead Irima, as well as the Erica Turnip Seed Web. Hello. Uh, good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so now who's going to tell us what Mocha Moms is? Well, um, I, I think that Dion can give us a, a good background because she's the immediate past president. But um, Mocha Moms is a national organization, and we're a chapter. So what I'll... And that was Eric Turnip Seed, and then we go to... <laughs> Yeah. Right. So um, Mocha Moms, Inc. is a national organization, as Erica stated. Mm -hmm. um, it began in 1997 um, in Prince George County, Maryland. Um, it has since expanded to include chapters across the country. There are five in the New York area, one in Brooklyn, one uptown in Harlem, one in Queens, one in Westchester County, and one in Hudson Valley. And there are a few, uh, quite a few in New Jersey. And it's a support group for at-home mothers of color. So these are women who have decided to either um, not work outside the home altogether or work from home, but they've decided to devote most of their time to raising their children. Mm -hmm. And how, how, did the, how did the group form? How how did it uh, all come together? Well, two women, Jolene Ivey and Shelley Ferguson, um, were part of other mother groups, mothers groups in Maryland, but they were mostly um, groups that had white women. And so, even though they, you know, were able to connect with other women, they were that vanilla moms. Vanilla. Or? Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and even though they were able to connect with other women, there was still that piece missing, you know, mm -hmm. that not quite feeling at home piece. Um, and so they started, they connected, and they began by sending out newsletters to other um, women of color who were home, other black women in the Maryland area who were home. And, you know, it spread like wildfire. Um, this It also came around the time in during that period when you would see um, – in Newsweek um, and Times Magazine, all these articles about all of these college-educated women, white women, who were opting to stay home, and we were never a part of that conversation. And so Mocha Moms also comes out of that, mm -hmm. our part in that conversation. Yo-yo uh, debt? yo debt, yes. yo debt. As in joy. Joy? Yo right, yeah. Okay, yo debt. <laughs> Your daddy, Rima. And, and what, what kind of things do you do as a part of the group? Well, my favorite part is mo Mom's Not Out. <laughs> <laughs> this is just one big party group. Here. Well, it's we important. the whole woman. <laughs> right. You know, the whole thing is when you become a mother, it's, it's very easy to start neglecting yourself. And, and just uh, it's, it's important to have those times when you set aside time for yourself and just hang out and, and uh one of the uh, expectations is that you dress yourself up, that you make up your face and you're, you know, feeling good about yourself and it's, it's your time. And it's really uh, been helpful for me particularly because I, I, um, I tend to generally uh, 
put aside my socializing time and so it was easy to forget that when I became a mother and, and having this outlet with with, Brook, with the Brooklyn Mocha Moms really helps me. Um, and then just, uh, you know, the, the, the one that started the chapter in Brooklyn is a, a good friend of mine, Yvonne Gilliam, and she was the first person that I noticed breastfeeding. This was before I even got married, and it, it stuck out to me. Um, and when I uh, decided I, I was ready to be a mom and, and I was married, I, I started researching, uh, reading uh, <laughs> everything about uh, raising children and, and noted how important it is to breastfeed and to be in a group where when we have our, our support meetings, you know, and pretty much any time, even at Moms Not Out, we can breastfeed and be comfortable um, is important in terms of reinforcing just generally how natural it should be to just be be a mom and, and be comfortable with it and, and not feel self-conscious about uh, mm-hmm. what what about is the right thing to do. About being human. Yeah. Right. So... Uh, you know, I wanted to also mention uh, when we were talking earlier about the Brooklyn Young Mothers Collective and, and Roots Revisited, it made me uh, think about Yoey Detts' organization as well, which is um, parents as primary teachers, and she can really talk a little bit about that. But it, it one of the things that's beautiful about the about Mocha Moms is that it really is an umbrella for so many ways of expressing our concern for our kids. So. Maybe Yoli Deck can just say a, a few words Certainly. about about um, parents as primary teachers. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> uh, well, parents as primary teachers is a nonprofit, so that uh, parents are able to educate their children and hold others accountable for the high quality education of their children. We have programs at different cultural institutions hosted uh, currently by the Brooklyn Public Library. Uh, we have uh, academic enrichment programs that are memorable experiences for the children and the parents alike as well as giving the the parents that confidence to help their children knowing exactly how the standards are connected to what they do in their daily lives as well as uh, the confidence to join their PTA so that we are able to advocate for our children uh, and make sure that uh, the the arts are, are returned to the schools and uh, the physical education, all the, the well-rounded uh, development of our children is ensured. So we can get, you can get more information at parentsasprimaryteachers.org. And I'm also celebrating that on, on our Facebook Causes page, we've reached uh, 200% of our, our goal of uh, increasing membership. Uh, so check out Facebook and also check out parentsasprimaryteachers.org. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going we're gonna to continue this conversation. We've got to take a break. For news, it is uh, 8 o'clock and 8.30 and 35 degrees. I'm going to hold you here as long as I can. <laughs> <laughs> 